Before we go today, we're going to talk about some delicious food that you can find right here in the Keys. Now, after talking with Dr. Ross Williams about digestion, it's important to point out that this restaurant, they do have some very delicious, healthy dishes. Thankfully, in today's world, you don't have to choose between healthy and flavor. You can get both in the same dish. Scott, thank you for being with me today. Well, aloha, show. Jenna. Thank you for the opportunity to talk to you today. <laughs> well, I appreciate it's it. Well, wonderful having you here, Scott. Thank and you. with the aloha, our viewers should be able to tell that you are from Hawaii. I'm originally from Hawaii. I mm -hmm. moved to the Keys in 1996 and started working really passionately on uh, doing my dream, which is to open an island-style restaurant here in the Keys. Mm -hmm. Well, your dream has come true because true. you have opened this beautiful, beautiful restaurant that has delicious food. And let's talk about some of the dishes. Okay. Well, this is Scott's tomato salad. It's, uh, it's a, our take on the ensalada caprese. Basically, we start with beautiful, fresh, ripe tomatoes. We add a uh, balsamic strawberry vinaigrette, ma ma mascarpone mozzarella mousse with uh, basil-infused olive oil. If you like caprese, you'll love our tomato salad. It's mm -hmm. fresh, it's delicious, wonderful flavors. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk to Scott real quick about the island, the spices, or the island cuisine. That sure, you well, you know, island food has tons of flavor, and that's mm -hmm. not by accident. When you're surrounded by all these wonderful uh, spices and fruits and all these different types of things that grow in the tropical climate, how could you go wrong? Mm -hmm. So that's what we've kind of tried to incorporate. There's no sense if you're in a beautiful place like the Florida Keys, serving food that doesn't reflect that beauty. Mm -hmm specials that you have going on during the week. You well, always have something. That's correct. You know, we to, to, the menu is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I think if you look at the menu, you're going to see a lot of things that appeal to a lot of different, uh, you know, styles and, mm -hmm. and, and people that are looking for certain things. But we do run specials every single night. And the reason we do that is we want to be, create that, uh, that environment where you can come in and if you've tried everything on the menu two or three times, which we appreciate, you can also order the specials and the specials change nightly. So you're always going to come in and have something different to choose from. Mm -hmm. What's the response from your clients who come in? Well, if for the first time, you know, if you've driven by the, the location that's been there for, for, for quite a while, they're taken by how beautiful it is. You go up the stairs and it has a panoramic sweeping view of the, of the water. I think we're one of the few restaurants that where from the dining room and the lounge, you can see both the bay side and the ocean side. And that's, that's, that's one of the things that people remark. And it's, it's island it's islandy without being touristy, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think when someone tries to create a tropical environment, they may go overboard and get campy or, or, or something to that extent. I wanted it to reflect like a warm tropical home, if you would. Mm -hmm. Does it reflect your home? Well, uh, if you were to come over and see all the clutter around the house, I hope not. <laughs> well, you're home of Hawaii. Uh, of course. No, you know, being from Hawaii, I wanted to embrace some of the feel of and flavor and, and, and just the basic sense of aloha. Now, Kaya is not a Hawaiian restaurant per se, but we mm -hmm. do embrace those flavors, while we also embrace Jamaican, Caribbean, and Pacific Rim flavors as well. It sounds delicious. Thank you. Thanks for making all of us so hungry. Right? That's, that's <laughs> my job, is to get you hungry and then feed you. <laughs> okay, and now your location. Scott. Well, we're located just south of Mile Marker 15. Everyone mm -hmm. pretty much knows where Baby's Coffee is. A shout out to Baby's, great place. <laughs> we're just south of that. Okay, it's so a, you're in a good location. Absolutely. At mm -hmm. first, people wondered if if the spot would be you know too far away, but I'm finding mm -hmm. that Key Westers love to make that short 18 minute drive north to come try us. Yeah, we don't mind getting in the car and drive. Why not? Get as off the road. As long as we have the car, right? Correct. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Might be a long bike ride, but yeah. it could be done. Right. Do you like it down here in the Keys, Scott? I cannot say enough about what it's like to live in the Florida Keys. The first question people ask me is, where are you from? And when they find out I'm from Hawaii, they want to know, well, why the heck did you move from Hawaii to the Florida Keys? Well, what would make you do that? Well, you know, growing up in Hawaii, I felt it was important to grow as a person and get, leave the nest. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I could have found a better place. The, the people, the bike paths, the ocean, the, the, of course, the weather. Mm -hmm. And there's just a certain magic that, that comes with living in the Keys that I wouldn't trade for anything in the world. Yeah, you described it perfectly, <laughs> and it sounds like with that description, you're not going anywhere for a while, are you? No, you know, I think uh, the Keys are going to be my home for as long as I'm around. I think I'm going to call the Florida Keys my home. Well, that's very fortunate for us. Hopefully all of our viewers can stop by, visit your restaurant, Thank you. get this delicious food. I'm so hungry. I want to uh, go there right oh, now. That's awesome. <laughs> that's wonderful. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Scott, it's, for being on the show. It's a pleasure. Show. Aloha. I'm going to, that's going to do it for me this morning, everyone. I thank you for tuning in and joining me today. Please join me again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day. Thank you.